Mechanism, the war in Iraq. Was it your war with Saddam or with the Iraqi community? And if it is not with the Iraqi community, why did the Iraqi community enter for sanction for 13 years without food and medicine? Thank you. Well, let's go back on this because the thing that happened, and let me explain something. I am a professor and uh, I teach a course on uh, what I call the National Security Toolbox. How does a country, uh, what are the kinds of things that a country does to make sure that its, its foreign policy and the foreign policy of the international community is carried out? And there are not a lot of tools in the toolbox. There's diplomacy, there are the economic tools, um, the negative and positive, the sanctions and embargoes, and then the positive ones of trade and aid, and then the threat of the use of force. Saddam Hussein invaded another country. He invaded Kuwait. He terrorized the people of Kuwait. He terrorized his own people. I was at the United Nations at the time. The, um, uh, the ceasefire had been translated into a series of sanctions resolutions. And what had happened was that there was, there, even under full embargoes and sanctions, food and medicine are, is always allowed. And yet, Saddam Hussein would not allow food and medicine in. Um, and when people say it's the United States' fault, it was Saddam Hussein's fault because he would not allow the food and medicine in. And I think that ultimately it was worked out in a way of oil for food program. But the reason that the people of Iraq did not have food and medicine was the fault of Saddam Hussein.